Good afternoon everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Um, I'm in the middle of moving some of my tropicals out of the kitchen because uh, we're looking like we're getting some warm weather for the next week or so which will take us close to June and it's certainly okay for them to be outside from June. And what I'm filming here is one of my three seed growing cherimoyas. Now um, they're all pretty much identical so uh, I'm not going to do them in the same uh, video. Now someone asked me how um, how old my seedlings are because I sowed them all at the same time um, and I kind of lost track of time. I was thinking they were only four or five years old but now the more I think about it the more I think they could be seven or eight years old at least. Um, <clears throat> I mean this, these all three of them reached about probably eight feet tall last year and I cut them back two feet because that was much too tall. Um, they are they have got to the size where they occasionally produce the odd flower. This one's got one underneath there. I don't know if you better see it because I don't know if the camera will focus or not. Sorry, it's very hard to focus, but you can just about see that flower bud coming. That's the first or second one on this plant, and one of the others has had a couple as well. But unfortunately, they're only producing the odd one or two flowers. There's no way to pollinate them because you'd really need quite a few flowers. I mean, they're almost big enough to support a fruit now, I would say. Um, as I said, this is a seed-grown cherimoya, so it's not a name variety. It's just from fruit that I would have bought in the shop at some stage or other. Um, you can see roots coming out the bottom of the pot, so it probably does need um, repotting, but I haven't got any larger pots at the moment, so I'll have to pick some up in the next uh, few days and probably <coughs> up-pot this, and I think it'll grow a lot better. And one of the interesting things about cherimoyas is they get absolutely no pests here whatsoever. There's no scale insects on them. No red spider mites, no mealy bugs, no green fly. Nothing seems interested in them whatsoever. And I believe I'm right in thinking the sap is poisonous or at least distasteful to most of the sap sucking insects. So they seem to be completely pest free. Even if you get a green fly land on one, it disappears straight away. So it's obviously unpalatable to them. I said I have lots of problems with my other plants with scale, mealy bugs. Um, red spider mites, especially the star fruit, um, and the babaco seems to be a magnet for red spider mites as well. But even though these plants are right next to them, I've never had any pests on them at all. Simply relatively easy to grow, it's just a problem of getting the flowers out at the same time. Um, anyway, as I was pulling, I'm pulling them plants out of the kitchen at the moment, I thought I'd take the opportunity to. Uh, Feel one of my three cherimoyas for anyone who's interested. Beautiful day today, so I think they'll do well outside for the rest of the summer. Quite a size, a good stem at the bottom. It's at least uh, an inch wide, so it is getting to a good strength now. But thank you everybody for watching. That was for anybody who was interested. Please do remember to share the video, like the video, subscribe to my channel if I'm uh, if anything I'm doing is of interest to you. And if you uh, remember to click on the bell, that will notify you about upcoming videos. So that's one of my seed-grown cherimoyas. Thanks for watching, everybody. Catch up with you in the next video.